Hello, everyone. I have another book today, and it's called Dragons Love Tacos. Did any of you know that dragons love tacos? How many of you love tacos? It's by Adam Rubin, and it's illustrated by Daniel Salmiri. So, that looks like a good taco. And it's dedicated, it says, to my loving sister, Bruce, smart, beautiful, and full of laughter. And then for Aaron, a wonderful friend, thank you for everything. Talk okay. All right, let's get this book set up. Here we go. Hey, kid, did you know that dragons love tacos? They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They love really big, gigantic tacos and tiny little baby tacos as well. Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's the smell from the sizzling pan. Maybe it's the crunch of the crispy tortillas. Maybe it's a secret. Either way, if you want to make friends with dragons, tacos are key. Hey, dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? But wait, as much as dragons love tacos, they hate spicy salsa even more. They hate spicy green salsa and spicy red salsa. They hate spicy crunchy salsa and spicy smooth salsa. If the salsa is spicy at all, dragons can't stand it. No spicy salsa, a guide to dragon cuisine. Why do dragons hate spicy salsa? Well, just one drop of hot sauce makes a dragon's ears smoke. Just one single speck of hot paper, pepper makes a dragon snort sparks. Spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles. And when dragons get the tummy troubles, oh boy. If you want to make tacos for dragons, keep the toppings mild. Tomatoes, lettuce, cheese. These are all good toppings for tacos for dragons. I'm sorry. Hey, dragon, how do you feel about spicy taco toppings? Dragons love parties. They like costume parties and pool parties. They like big gigantic parties with accordions and tiny little parties with charades. Why do dragons love parties? Maybe it's the conversation. Maybe it's the dancing. Maybe it's the comforting sound of a good friend's laugh. The only thing dragons love more than parties or tacos is taco parties. Taco parties are parties with lots of tacos. If you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you'll need buckets of tacos. Pot loads of tacos. <laughs> The best way to judge is to get a boat and fill the boat with tacos. That's about how many tacos dragons need for a taco party. After all, dragons love tacos. Wow. Hey, dragon, are you excited for the big taco party? Just remember, Dragons hate spicy salsa. Before you host your taco party with dragons, get rid of all the spicy salsa. In fact, bury the spicy salsa in the backyard so the dragons can't find it.
These dragons love your taco party. They love the music. They love the decorations. They especially love the tacos. Congratulations. Boy, these dragons eat a lot of tacos. But dragons are very large, so it's a good thing you got rid of all that spicy. Wait a second. What are those little green things in the salsa? You didn't read the fine print. It says, now with spicy jalapeno peppers. Dragons, listen to me. Do not eat those tacos. Those little green specks in the salsa, those are jalapeno peppers. They are super spicy. I know you love tacos, dragons, but you are not going to love those tacos. Do not let those dragons eat those tacos. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Too late. Whew, they all have fire coming from their mouths. It's hot. <laughs> oh my. Why would dragons help you rebuild your house? Maybe they're good Samaritans. Maybe they feel bad for wrecking it. Maybe they're just in it for the taco breaks. Because with all that fire, look, there's no house. After all, dragons love tacos. Well, I think we found that dragons do love tacos. And even though they burn down the house from the hot, spicy jalapeno peppers, they help rebuild it because guess what? They like the taco breaks. If you like that story, press like at the end and I'll see you next time.